This is an instructional video for the Scorpion Oil Tools 1500 LRT with a diesel power pack mounted on the back of the cart. Some key features of the 1500 LRT are the ability to raise and lower the machine body in order to center itself on a joint. Additionally, the distance between the grips can be varied as close as about 3 inches apart and up to approximately 10 inches apart. Last, the machine can easily be swiveled from working on pipes in horizontal or vertical. Once the hydraulic power unit is powered on, the machine body should be centered on the joint as shown, simply by removing the pins on either side of the cart and placing them in their holders, and then adjusted using the single spool control valve mounted on the hydraulic oil tank. As shown, the machine body was too high, and so the operator is lowering the body little by little in order to have it oriented to the machine so that the grips will be gripping on either side of the joint. Once the proper height is attained, the pins can be replaced as a safety precaution to keep the machine body in the correct position. Once the height of the machine body is oriented correctly to the joint, it is time to achieve grip on the pipe. Grip is achieved using the backup arm first. As you can see, the operator is extending the cylinder ram or cylinder rod so that the chain, when wrapped around the OD of the pipe, will reach. The chain is secured to the cylinder ram using the pin T or the pin with the welded handle and secured with a hairpin. Once it is wrapped around the pipe, the operator will now achieve grip. It is important to achieve grip with the backup arm first. Also note that the pipe being worked on for this demonstration is supported from above. The scorpion should not be used to elevate or support full pipes on their own. The operator is now retracting the bottom chain cylinder, which attaches to the chain, in order to achieve a grip. At this point, the machine is righted on the pipe, where the pipe is safely secured by the machine. It is now time to achieve grip using the top arm. The arm can be pushed over to align the jaw with the OD of the pipe, watch for pinch points, the operator will extend the cylinder rod and secure the chain around the pipe, reinserting the pin T. and completing the grip. All cylinders are controlled from a control valve. We've seen the single spool control valve on the hydraulic oil tank, and there is this three spool control valve mounted on the machine itself, which controls the two chain cylinders and the actuation cylinder or makeup cylinder. Now we will adjust the system pressure, which is the overall pressure allowed into the machine. This will dictate how much power the machine has to achieve a grip and to apply a torque. The system pressure is controlled by the spool to the left of the levers as shown. The cap should be removed and the pressure can be adjusted by loosening the jam nut and then adjusting the screw as shown. Turning to the left will decrease this overall system pressure and turning to the right will increase you can get a pressure reading by maxing out the grip on either of the chain cylinders or retracting it all the way in and holding it to get a true pressure reading. Next we will adjust the makeup pressure. The Scorpion comes with the ability to set a system pressure in order to have enough pressure in the system to achieve a makeup or breakout. And then with the additional feature of limiting the makeup pressure independently. 
There are two gauges below that show the makeup and breakout pressure. Here, the breakout pressure has been reversed, so we are looking at the makeup gauge only. The other gauge for the system pressure that we already saw is located here on the three lever control valve. The cartridge which controls the makeup pressure has been adjusted and the operator is now retracting the cylinder rod all the way into the actuation cylinder to get a reading of the makeup and adjusting pressure according to what he had. For example, using the Scorpion calculator, if you determine that you need 500 psi, but no more, to achieve the desired torque, then you would set your system pressure for significantly above that, say 800 or 1000 psi, and then independently limit the makeup pressure to the desired 500 psi. Once the, system, once the machine reaches that makeup pressure, it will start to dump so as to not over torque the joint. Once the makeup pressure is achieved, up or down, you simply lock the lock nut back into place and operate the Scorpion. Here he has dialed it back down to 500. Again, achieving a good reading by adjusting the makeup lever all the way down to get a constant reading so that he can see the adjusted pressure levels. We will now perform a breakout. The operator achieves grip or re-achieves grip with the chain cylinders and pulls the red lever into the position indicated by the tag for breakout. Breakout is when the actuation cylinder extends. That is for right-handed threads. It would be the reverse for left-handed threads. So the lever is being pushed into the breakout position and you can see the pipe or joint rotating ever so slightly. Last, we will perform a makeup. Makeup is when the actuation cylinder retracts into the cylinder body, as shown. In this case, we will make it up to the preset allowance in the, in the makeup pressure. As you can see here on the gauge, going up to approximately 500 PSI and then stopping or dumping so as not to over torque the joint. 